Are mental health issues an inevitable side effect of autism and other neurodivergencies? I got represented, presented with this healthy challenge recently because I often teach about the two things side by side because they're like peas and carrots. If you're autistic, you're probably anxious, for example. And we see loads and loads of comorbidity when it comes to autism, ADHD and other neurodiversities and our common mental health issues. So I teach about them side by side because you don't very often get the neurodiversity without the mental health issue. But, but the challenge came from a very respected friend and colleague who said, we need to stop assuming that it's inevitable that if you're autistic, you're also gonna be anxious or that you're likely to self-harm or develop an eating disorder or be depressed or, 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 or. And I thought it was a really, really important challenge uh, and question because do the two need to go together? And I think the answer is no, they don't. That actually we often see these two things side by side because being neurodivergent, she says, as an autistic person struggling uh, in a neurotypical world is hard. It's really hard. And so just doing day to day does tend to create anxiety for us, can trigger low self-esteem, can make us feel quite low, can when we don't feel we belong, can make it hard to cope, all these things. There's lots and lots and lots about being neurodivergent that's pretty tough, but it's not inevitable, it's because we're in a world that kinda don't really fit us very well. So if the world were to change, little tiny, tiny things, then maybe those symptoms would not have to be there, those mental health issue symptoms. So I guess I'm putting it out there as a general wonderment. What do you think? Should we be teaching about, talking about, learning about these things absolutely side by side? Because right now they do seem to be very, very, very closely intertwined. Or do we need to be picking it apart more and actually putting more challenge out there to our settings, our environment, the world at large and saying, hey, hang on. Can you make this a more comfortable place for those of us who are autistic, who have ADHD, who otherwise experience the world a little bit differently so we do not have to be anxious, depressed, self-harming, eating disordered, generally struggling? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I, I, I don't have anything really constructive to say. I'm just wondering out loud really and, and inviting your comments, inviting your thoughts and thinking how best we tackle this. And if it is something we need to do something about, what should we be doing and how? What's the best way of approaching that, of tackling that? And do we need to be thinking about our language and that sense of inevitability of the two going together? What I've done in my teaching is just to acknowledge this, just to say it shouldn't be inevitable that the two go together, but often right now they do. Just acknowledging that is my starting point. What next? Would love to hear your thoughts. Would also love to know what you'd like videos on as I now finally have my office. It's not quiet yet, you can probably hear the noise of the road in the background, sorry about that, but I do have space to record, I do have an office, it's exciting, I can start to create content once more. Hurrah! And I'm reunited with my books. Ha, oh, now the phone's ringing, it's all going on here. Okay, till next time.